Hi, this is Galit Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you feel alive because today our quote of the day is, if death meant just leaving the stage long enough to change costume and come back as a new character, would you slow down or speed up? By Chuck Palahniuk. This quote is so profound. Even if death meant just leaving the stage to change clothes, we would speed up, not slow down, probably. And this is exactly what we should be doing in life. Speed up so that we can quench every moment of it. Think about it. Nobody really knows if we do come back to life after death. We may believe in, re in reincarnation, but we don't have any solid evidence that it is true. So we should make the most out of this life and act as if it was our only and last life. Every day that we have in this world is a privilege. What are you doing with this privilege? Don't postpone your mission and the show of your gifts for another time. Start today if you haven't already done so and show your brilliance. Also, never delay a show of love and care to those who are important for you in your life. You can never know what will happen to you the next minute, and therefore you should live each day as if it were soon to be your last. Would you be doing what you are currently doing if you knew that your time was limited? Would you waste your days fighting with those close to you, or would you show them love and respect? Would you even spend your time fighting with people who are not so close to you? Or would you prefer to just ignore and move on undisturbed? Would you stay in your current line of work? Would you stay in your job, in your current home, in your current relationship? What would you do, really do, if you knew that your time was limited? All of our days are numbered. And as I said in a previous vid video, you only have a few more summers left to live. Maybe 80, maybe 20, maybe five, we do not know. But however many we do have, they are always limited. So care for your health so that you can have more days alive and full of energy and in real freedom. Also put your energy into your life's purpose. Share your gifts with the world today, not tomorrow, so that your days alive will have been worthwhile and that you will leave a positive dent in the world. And put your energy into your family and friends and loved ones and those close to you. Don't delay telling everyone you love how you feel about them and what value, what they mean to you and in your life. I do this every day with my daughters so that I will never regret not telling them this enough. Don't waste your days. Spend them on worthy causes. Also enjoy your days. It is just a decision to enjoy your days rather than to suffer in life. Accept what can't be changed and change what can and needs to be changed. Don't put off any enjoyment until this or that happen in your life. Don't wait for the perfect partner. Don't wait for the perfect job or enough money or for things to happen in order to start living your life. No, you were given the gift of life, so do what you want and do what you feel the urge to do. Do it today. Of course, you should never harm others in the pursuit of your own joy, in fact, when you help others reach their own joy as well, then you are really savoring the magic of life. Use common sense when taking any risks, but constantly keep in the back of your mind that life is short, that you were given this opportunity, so make the most of it. Don't waste it. You have all you need and all it takes to make your life truly magical. Put in the effort where it will bring you the most joy. In fact, let the things that make you happy be your guiding light as to where you should put your focus. With this line of personal conduct, you will ensure that you are making the most out of your life. Leave all excuses away and remember that you were given this opportunity, so don't waste it. Be productive, be creative, be loving, and be giving today. Don't wait for tomorrow. And leave fear, anger, guilt feelings, and frustrations aside. Yes, these are a part of life. But as we spoke in previous videos, these hardships, disappointments, difficulties, and frustrations are there to help you see your strength and to perceive your power and to help you move towards the progress that you can make if you take the right steps. 
Difficulty is part of everyone's life. Without difficulty, we would not appreciate what good we also have in our life. It's like that you don't know what light is if you've never had darkness. Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple, said that the single best invention of life was death. He said, no one wants to die. Even people who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there. And yet, death is the destination that we all share. No one has ever ex escaped it. It's life's change agent. That's what Steve Jobs said. So do what you want to do, what comes from your heart, because your heart knows best for you. Put in the effort and do what you can. And know that when you do your best, it will always be enough. The world-renowned speaker, Les Brown, said, The graveyard is the richest place on earth because it is here that you will find all the hopes and dreams that were never fulfilled, the books that were never written, the songs that were never sung, the inventions that were never shared, and the cures that were never discovered, all because someone was too afraid to take the first step or too afraid to keep with the problem or not determined enough to carry out their dream. So don't allow yourself to miss this opportunity of making the most out of your journey called life that you were given, that you were blessed with, just as you wouldn't miss making the most out of your vacation time. Allow life to touch you, absorb all that life has to offer, and give back as much as you can to leave a legacy worthwhile of you behind. Leave the world a little better than you got it when you arrived, and this is your contribution and your legacy. Acknowledging death should not come from fear, but from doing the best you can in the limited time you have available for you. And when you live your best, you will never fear death. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help make sure that you're moving your life in the right direction for you. And the question of the day is, am I living my life in a worthwhile manner? If I were to know that I will soon die, would I be doing the things that I am currently busy doing most hours of my days? Would I be spending my time with the people that I am in contact with? Or would I be doing things differently? Once you have your answers and you are not happy in all fields of your life, from the work and the effort and the fun that you are having, then ask yourself, what would I be doing if I could only do the things that matter? Also in the long term for me. Now find a way to spend most of your waking hours focused on these things. So as usual, I recommend writing down this question and your answers to it in a special notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and see how you are improving your life and, and navigating it in the right direction. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I know that my days are numbered, so I am doing my best, being my best and loving my best every single day. I know that my days are numbered, so I am doing my best, being my best and loving my best every single day. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life for the better with repetition. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better level for you. Thank you very much for joining.